Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave, and today we're going to continue our playthrough of A Glorious Chance, the naval struggle for Lake Ontario in the War of 1812. This is a game from Legion War Games and designed by Gina Willis. Alright, we're playing the Solo Americans, and we're starting now. It's August 1st. Alright, schedule a convoy, so I am definitely scheduling my convoy in. Okay. We don't know about the British yet. Okay. New ships ready. The thing that I haven't found is what about this captured ship? Do they actually do something with it? Or is it just out of play? I think it's out of play. I don't think they would do something. So I'm going to move it to out of play. So I don't think they would actually do something with it. Okay. Repairs. Ships in repairing area. We don't have anybody in repairs. Reduce ships in transit area move to the repairing. So over here, we have British ships in transit. He moves to repairing. And I have two American ships in transit. They move to repairing. Okay. Nobody in ordinary. Naval construction. Okay. Well, my construction delays at zero, so the Sylph now moves to make ready. So I'm getting ready to get him out. And we're going to see if we can't start creating some havoc on this lake, maybe. <laughs> Hoping so, anyway. All right. Naval balance. I need to recalculate the naval balance. See what we got again. Okay, so let me go through. We got ships that are... Um, not available or they're damaged so we got to go through and um, see what they're going to have here all right so i'll uh let me do that and show you what we got for naval balance okay so when i uh do my math the british have and i do not count the ships that's in repairing they don't count yet in transit or make ready any of those only the ones that are available so the british have 92 and i have 118 that's a difference of 26 which is greater than or equal to 26 so we stay on the naval balance where we were so the naval balance after our battles did not change okay assign my u.s ships and then we'll check for ai troops available and then we'll uh, post our cards up. So I know that my troop is available, but I don't know about the British. So we'll get ready to see where that's at after I sign my missions. All right, we put a uh, patrol with the Julia down here in Niagara and the Raven in the North Lake. I have a escort mission for my convoy with the Pert and the Asp. And I have a patrol with the Growler and the Hamilton. I have a patrol with Lady of the Lake in Kingston. And I have a raid up here with my soldiers doing that raid. Um, and you know what? Maybe instead of this being a patrol, I'm going to make it another raid. I'm going to raid down here. I'm going to York, and we're going to do a raid here down here at York and see if we can't um, drive us some interesting results over there, maybe. All right, so that's where we're at. So I got a raid at York, a patrol here. Did not put anything out there. It makes that dangerous, but I'm really protecting these guys up here. And this raid is really a troop transport mission. Okay. All right, here we go. AI troops available. Let's check the British. And yes, he finally got his AI troops. First ones. All right. So... We put his troop counter up here 
and his available troops. That's going to make a change to the game a little bit. Things are going to start changing a little bit here. All right. Um, adjust shuffle target cards. Oh, well, I've done a major shuffle on them, so now we're going to shuffle them up here a little bit. And this is a six card pull. We'll cut them right there. Here we go. All right. So we start with sackets. <laughs> so we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, there's the six cards. So the first one is in Sackets Harbor. So we're going to have Sackets, North Lake, North Lake, Sackets, Sackets, dang it, and York. So nothing up in Kingston. Okay. So I need one, two, three, I need four possible encounters. Two, three, and four. Here we go. The first one is here. We'll put it on the growler. The second one is also there, so it has to go on my convoy. The third one is also there. They'll pick it up again. And the fourth one is in York on my raid that I didn't have anybody um, helping them. All right, possible encounters. We marked them on the map. And now we do an encounter check. Draw an event card. Here we go. And it is no encounter. So encounter one is not an encounter. Set this one down here to the side. Possible encounter was no encounter. Flip that over. All right. and draw event card possible lake zone so if an encounter in this lake zone proceeds to a reaction segment apply plus two die roll modifier to all the human players reaction check details for forces okay put that there remove possible encounter marker and go to next encounter okay so i can take that one off slide this up okay encounter number two this is my convoy don't like this so we check and it is an encounter dag gone okay now all right so we still have the adverse wind here all right so we have an encounter so we replace two with encounter okay so we have an encounter open encounter marker with encounter marker and conduct an encounter cycle so we go to the cycle we reveal the target card so this was number two so one two this is the target card and this is at 26 and soldiers are one so this force does not apply so they do not have they do not um there is no encounter so that encounter ended okay so we come back now we go to number three and we've got to check for an encounter and no encounter so number three comes off the board now we have to check for number four. Number four is, there's the possible encounter. Here we go again. Pull this card. And this time they got the encounter. Shoot. Okay, so, and they're going to deploy their ships. So they deploy, the British deploy their ships for the encounter. All right, so take that off. And I put this one on. All right. So these guys are coming in for the encounter. Right here on my raid, which is a one ship, the Raven. And I'm going to see if I can't um, get out of there. He is an escort patrol. This force conducts in secondary mission if no AI convoy is running this turn. 
or if it's already deployed for a different encounter. Okay, so I did not check. Let's see. Reveal target cards, lake zones, conduct, cutting out raids, army support, breakout attacks, zone controls, land battles, blockade checks. I'm looking for when do I flip his check for his convoy. Just checking again. New ships, all that stuff. Naval balance. Schedule convoy. I guess I should have checked it then. Does he schedule his convoy? It is, yes. So he also is running. I can take that August convoy off of there, marker. Okay, so we both have convoys running. His mission was escort. His secondary mission, if no AI convoy is running this turn, or if already deployed for a different encounter. So I think this says that he's on escort duty. Now I gotta check and see if that's what that really means. So let me check. Okay, so the way I read this is I look at this card and his mission is escort. And because there is an AI convoy, he gets escort. So he's doing escort duty. So if I had a patrol there, I'm assuming I could intercept him, but I don't. So that's going to end all these other encounters. Okay. So he has no other ships deployable. So that's going to take us past that. We're not going to have a reaction segment. Not going to have late combat. Enemy ops phase. On each target card. Of course, deploying this phase, follow the instructions on page 15 to conduct its mission. All right, so let's see what he has to do here on page 15. Page 15. And read. Deploy the ships, conduct any operations, patrol, attack a convoy, army support, cutting out, or raid. Okay, the enemy AI phase ends when no further deployments can be made. So he does his escort, because I didn't patrol, his escort's going to be successful. And so we're going to be past that, there won't be any breakout attacks. So now we're going to conduct coastal missions. Cutting out raids and army support. That's me. So I have a raid down here with the Raven. So he goes here with his raid. So that's my raid. It goes in there. Over here. Put my raid marker there. Apply it. Then place the... Oh, I have to draw... Wait a minute. I have to draw my coastal event. Ah, none. Okay. There is no coastal event. Okay. i then place the raid marker there. So I have my raid on him. Okay. Then I go army support mission. That's this one up here. Launch troops, placing them on the coastal port. Okay. So I have my land battle here. If necessary, fight a harbor encounter, page 41, if defending the home port. I don't think I'm defending mine, but we'll check it here just to make sure. Page 41. Land battles. 
Total long gun strength, land battle, harbor encounters. In the coastal action phase, each naval force with an army support mission must fight any combat capable enemy ships or in the enemy's home port display. He doesn't have any. Okay, so there is no encounter. All right. Nice. Draw for a coastal event. None. Nice, that's two of them we got past. <laughs> Conduct the land battle with a die roll on the land by let a land battle table. All right, so here we go with the land battle table. So we have one troop and long gun strength of the ship. So I have four. So my strength's one to six, and I have one troop marker. So I have to roll on this table, and it is a Red die is the 10 digit. And this is 13. I don't know if that's good or bad. Seems like it's going to be bad, but we'll see. Oh, defender success. So, that means attacker success or better, he loses combo. Major success or better, also, so it's a failure. I didn't, I didn't get it done. I don't get any victory points. Um, that raid's over. So I landed my troops and they didn't get anything done. Okay, unfortunate, but that's what we tried to do. Had a chance anyway. Place marker with land battle on the coastal target. Okay. So we're at the end of that turn, so we go destroyed, captured ships. All these cards are done now. And we're both going to get coastal supply, or both going to have our supply convoys run in there. Okay. All these event cards, they're coming off. All right. Reset and turn advance. Full strength ships to home ports display. So the British ships go back. The American ships are coming back. Lady of the Lake. These were all my secondaries. Whoops. All my secondaries come back. Down here. Okay. Reduce ships to home port displays in transit area remaining on their reduced side. The home port displays in transit area. Nope, didn't have anybody. Full strength ships in transit go to deployable area of home port. I don't have that. Isolated ships, troop markers were launched and are fought or removed from play. So the American troop marker comes off. So he's done. All right. Unlaunched troops return to their sides. Available troop box, that's him. Newly available troops from convoy supply. Don't reveal AI ones yet. Flip any convoy delay marker, nope. Reduce, return all target cards, event cards, and... Okay, so I got a roll. I got a uh, victory point for that raid. And I got a roll of die. And a five or six is going to get me some supply. Aha, five. A five, I get plus one on the U.S. supply, minus one on the British supply. All right, so that raid was successful. And I have to have, I get two points for my convoy to there, and he gets two which is going to finally get him up to a four, which means move Lord Melville in step A5 from construction to make ready. So he's getting ready to get a ship out of there finally. Shoot, I was trying to keep him from doing that, but he's going to get it finally. <laughs> okay, we move our turn marker, and both of these convoys are done now. I'm going to clear up the rest of the board, and then we'll be ready to start August um, 11th. Be right back. 
Okay, for the victory points, um, I get uh, leg zone control. I still have one, so I'm up to 10 points now. So I got to get my 10 point marker out. I don't think it's on this side. Nope. So I'll find my 10 point marker. Uh, raids, I did army victory. Nope, that's already fall offensive. Nope. Okay. So I find my 10 point marker. I'm up to 10 now. All right, so we are 10. We'll put that up here. So I have 10 points. We're ready to start moving that again on the next turn. Okay, here we go. August 11th. Scheduled convoys? Nope. New ships ready. Yes, the Sylph has now joined my ships. Okay. Okay, ships in repair. They get flipped. He has one. He flips his. I have two. They both get flipped. Okay. And after this, they go back into deployable. So they'll be ready in September. Both of us are getting the ships back. Nothing in ordinary. No naval construction. He does. He gets his. Moves out of. Oh, I wonder, what ship was that supposed to be? That is the Lord Melville. I wonder if I had him up here and he wasn't supposed to be up here yet. Yes, oh, I cheated myself. The Lord Melville is in Make Ready. Ah, okay. <laughs> Threw myself out of balance there. Now we're gonna check, now we're gonna check our naval balance. All right, well, the naval balance is now 70 in my favor. So I have 150 in these guys, and he has 80 in his. Um, yeah, I was cheated myself there. He was giving him an extra 12 points. So balance is way in my favor. AI troops available. Yeah, does he get him this turn? Yes, he does. Okay, so he gets his second set of troops. So he now has two troops up there. Okay. And... What do we do now? We do, oh, assign our U.S. ships. I should have done that, but they realize it's not gonna make a difference for what I'm doing. All right, I need one more good raid and I can make my fall supply. Okay, I have a patrol down here in Niagara. I got a, a raid with the ASP at York and I have a patrol with the Julia and the Pert. And then we have a patrol here in Sackets with the uh, Oneida, Raven, Growler, and Hamilton. Okay. All right. So they're going to get six target cards. So I got to shuffle. I didn't shuffle them up yet. I got to shuffle my event cards and we'll be ready to go. All right. Here we go. And we're going to cut. Cut them here. Here we go. All right. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, they're after Niagara. All right. So possible encounters is one. Two, three, four. There's five possible encounters. Okay. The first one is up here at Sackets. The next one is at York, Niagara, I should say. 
at Niagara. The next one is back up here. And then the last two are in Niagara. Four and five. Okay. So the first encounter is up here at Sackett's Harbor. So we pull our card. It's fair wind. There is nobody spotted. If the AI side makes a reaction checks to reinforce encounters in this lake zone this time, apply a plus two die roll modifier. Okay, so there was no encounter. So possible encounter number one is off the board. Next encounter is number two. So that one we pulled. Now we have number two right here. So we got to pull to see if he has the encounter. This is a different lake zone. There is, and it's a convoy delay, so there is no convoy this turn. Okay. But I have the weather gauge. That's good. So here we have a possible encounter. So on number two. It becomes a possible encounter. All right. Err. <laughs> okay, that's this card right here. So we flip this over. And he has two troops available. And I'm all the way up here. He has no ships coming. Okay, so there is no encounter. That encounter ended. We go back up here to the third possible encounter. We're back up at Sackett's Harbor again, which had fair wind. And we have a possible encounter, and I'm going to have the weather gauge again. All right, so this is here. Two troops available, and they're going to deploy. Okay, here we go. So they're going to deploy. Let's see. This is a patrol, so they're definitely going to... We're definitely going to have some action here. All right. That's going to be the end of all that. This one is the fair wind. I have the weather gauge. Um, so we will, um, we're going to elect to um, pass, which is going to send us to the reaction phase. Okay. So we don't, we go to the reaction segment. If the patrol segment ends, the sides are still engaged. Make reaction checks for possible reinforcements. The British don't have any. American reaction checks. Check your forces within the same lake zone. Check your forces in lake zones adjacent. So we want the balance of my deployable ships to come out. All right, so I have to roll for that. So, let's see, where's that at? Let me locate this in the book. Let's see, encounter cycle still engaged. Lake combat flagships. Deployable ships. Twenty five, twenty six. We go down. Force assembly. Okay, let me check this out. All right. So I got to roll a five to nine, and I get plus one because they're in the same zone. Ten. Is that right, or is that zero? Ah, at zero. Reaction failed. Okay, so I could not get out there to help these guys. <laughs> All right. So these guys are going to go into late combat. I got to put my guys on the board over here. One, two, oops, one, two, three, four. And he's got his ships coming. They are this direction. Um, Two, three, four. 
All right. Four to four. He's got the bigger ships. All right. So we come over here for the combat. So we're going to have to check for the weather gauge and, uh oh, the gale. Opposing, this is a lake zone event. So we don't do that because lake zone event draw. So we're just checking for the weather gauge. British. Okay. So the British have the weather gauge. And we'll have to check, but I know, I'm pretty sure the British are going to be one-to-one. -one. We'll have to check to see if they want to bypass or not. Okay, so let me, uh, let me do that math. All right, so the British have better than one-to-one -one strength, so they're going to make the attack. Okay, so for our late combat... This is for the British. Draw and select tactics. Okay, so this is for the defender. We get four cards. One, two, three, four. It's for the Americans. And we're going to reveal, repel, outmaneuver, a dummy, and a rate of fire. So the dummy card comes off. And... The cards that we cannot use are these. Well, I have a repel. I can't use out maneuver and I can't use rate of fire. So repel is the only one that's available for me. Okay. So I may not be able to use it yet, but that's the only one that I have available. Okay. Repel means negates the grapple attacker tactic. All right. So if they get to that, we'll negate that. All right, now we go, attackers get five cards. One, two, three, four, five. All right, here he comes. He gets, we got to check his card, sweep up and fire. So that's no good. Surprise, no good. Rake, no good. Pursuit, no good. Outmaneuver, no good. He doesn't get any of his... So he's just flat out, that's what he's got. All right, so for once, at least they didn't get that advantage on me. All right, when the patrol sink, this is the only round of this too, because this was already the second half of the reaction segment. When the reaction segment ends, the encounter ends. Okay, here we go. So, we're going to have to add up uh, the combat tables now for the British and the, U and the Americans. And we use half long gun strength plus carronade plus defense. Okay. So, for the British, their long guns are going to be two, four, seven. So, half makes three and a half. 3.5. Is carronades four, six, eight, twelve. It's twelve there. And his defense is four, five, six, eleven. He's eleven. So that makes that point five. Five, six. He's at twenty-six and a half. Okay. My long guns are one, three, four, five. So that's two and a half. 2.5. I have zero. Oh, I have three for carronades. And my defense is two. It's going to be pretty bad. So I have 57.5. Five. So I got to divide 26.5. 26.5 divided by 7.5 equals 3.5. So he is three to one or better. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Three to one or better. 
and he's firing at me. Uses the 10 side to die. Three to one or better. Oh, he got a one. That's probably as good as I could hope. Defender, two hits, and we would draw. Okay, so I got to take two hits. So there is um, total ships for me is four, and I got to roll for two hits. All right, the first one is going to be 62. So 62 on four is ship number four. Dang, the Oneida. So he takes a hit. That's one hit. Okay, got to roll again. This one is 14. Well, at least it won't be the same ship. <laughs> four on 14 is ship number one. Okay, so ship number one takes a hit. So I can flip him over. And I can flip the Oneida over. So they both took hits. Ah, too bad. Okay, no hits on him. We would draw. That's the end of the combat. We didn't have to worry about repelling anybody. All right. Coastal. And because they used all their ships, all these target cards are done now. And take them off the board. Put them up there. All right. So now we're down to... He did not get control because we're still there. Okay, cutting out. I have a raid. So my raid's going to hit up here. Got to draw a coastal event. Oops, I laid them up there. Coastal event. Requisition. This event only affects the drawing sides, force conducting an army support mission. It's not an army support mission, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so the raid is successful. Um, we don't have any other land battles. We don't have any other raids. All right, and down here I have three steps there okay no so now we tally up so destroyed or captured ships none lake zone control no no change there but I do have one I get a victory point it gives me 11 now for my one lake zone I'm in, still in control of. Uh, raid VPs, I get another raid VP and I get to roll and see if I affect my supply. Three, no, did not. So I did not gain that supply I was trying to get. That's too bad. <laughs> it would have got me there. Okay, but I got a raid VP. All right. Adjust convoy supply tracks. Blockade checks. Nope. Reset and turn advance. Full strength ships go back to their harbors. So the British going back to their harbor. Had not had a lot of luck fighting those guys yet. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. And... My full strength ships go back. He's full strength. He's full strength. Full strength. Full strength. Full strength. These guys are back in my secondary ships. All right. Reduce ships to home port displays in transit area. So my two go into the in transit area. Right there. Ah. Reduce ships to home port displays in transit area remaining on their reduced side. Full strength ships in in transit go to deployable area. Isolated ships, troops, markers, unlocked ships, newly available troops. Okay, flip any convoy delays. Return all target cards to their decks. 
I did that. Um, event cards, we'll shuffle that. Return the attacker and defenders, did that, we'll shuffle them. And we advance to September. Okay, we're coming up. We got one, one round left to go. Two more turns. If I can get this up here, I can get me a, another five victory points. All right. Hey, everybody. Hope you're enjoying it. It's uh, We're getting near the end. And um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, leave me any comments. And give me that thumbs up, please. I'll see you guys for the next time.